Dude, I'm gonna be real. I've been messaged by like 35 different people about this. So about new developers discussion. I have a feeling that I know exactly what's gonna happen in this. <sighs> but we're gonna read it. And you wanna know why we're gonna read it? Because there's somebody out there who still thinks that Genshin Impact will change. And I'm sure this developer's discussion did a very good job of expressing the exact opposite of that. So we're about to breathe a collective, oh man, here we go again. What is gonna go on in the world of Genshin Impact 2? Let's see, man. What, what? What happened, man? What happened? Uh, character building optimization are in progress. Training guide now available. Developers discussion 228, 2024. Do not let this distract you from the fact that you still only got three polls as a bonus for the uh, Lantern Rite Festival. Uh, let's just make sure that we're all distressed. Uh, we're all we're all tracking that. Uh, the newest developers just arrived. Version 4.5's optimization adjustments mostly revolve around improving the character building experience. Let's check them out now. Prediction. I guarantee you that 4.5 uh, update patch will suck balls for everybody but Dorian. Doro. Doro will call it insane, but I bet you 4.5 is going to suck balls. All right, just uh, just an early, quick little, quick little prediction, okay? But uh, that's just my opinion, okay? Hey, gamers! Today's video is sponsored by Unicorn Overlord. From the masterminds that brought 13 Sentinels, Aegis Rim, Odin Sphere, and Dragon's Crown Atlas, X Vanillaware presents the rebirth of tactical fantasy RPGs. Unicorn Overlord is the rebirth of retro fantasy strategies that embarks audience on nostalgia-infused epic SRPG adventures, inviting them to forge alliances, liberate kingdoms, and explore an expansive world with stunning visuals and over 60 unique characters, from human elves all the way to massive beasts and heavenly angels. It's a classic heroic fantasy tale that pays homage to classic 16 by 32 bit strategy RPG gameplay with gorgeous modern 2D aesthetics for tactics fans that want to test their real-time strategy skills with 40 to 50 hours of gameplay. Traverse the vibrant world, assemble a grand army, and direct them into battle! Perform heroic deeds and grow your renown through five great nations. Unicorn Overlord is available for pre-order digitally for Nintendo Switch, Xbox X slash S, PS5, PS4, and physically for Nintendo Switch, Xbox S, X, and PS5. The demo is available now for you to play, and your progress carries over onto the full release on March 8th, 2024. Click on my link below in the description to pre-order Unicorn Overlord and try out the demo today. Thank you, Unicorn Overlord, for sponsoring today's video. We become aware that building characters can prove to be quite perplexing for some new travel as well as those who have just obtained a new character. To this end, we have developed the training guide, which will provide you with character building suggestions that are based on data from recently active players. We hope that it will make your combat exploration and experience smoother. Okay, genuine question. I thought we already had this shit. Am I insane? Like, genuinely. I I swear to God, we already had this shit. I mean, oh, H oh HSR had it? Oh. Oh. Okay. All right, uh, this, I, you know, oh, wow, it might help somebody. So great. HSR only? Okay, cool, man. Well, that's great. That's exactly what players have been asking for. God forbid they just go on YouTube and support a content creator who makes a guide. You can follow the system instructions, choose between character level, weapon, artifact, and character dungeons, depending on which aspects you like to build. Okay? In the character level tab, you can review whether or not leveling up your characters is recommended, as well as required essential materials. Oh, my God. Wait, okay, bro, bro. Okay, sure, man. All right, uh, sure. Maybe, maybe somebody asked for that. I've just never heard of him before, but sure. Okay, maybe, maybe somebody asked. And the weapon in the artifacts tab, commonly used weapons and artifact configurations will be recommended to you based on daily recent active players. So what you're saying is that if enough people f around and use shit weapons, we can trick people into building bad weapons. So is this kind of like the fluctuating prices at Wendy's? So what we should do is, is that we should all collectively just do really bad builds and watch the world burn. Okay, all right, so now I get it. Good, 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 good. Enhance current artifacts. Equipping the five-star artifacts. Oh, also, here's here's a fun here's a fun little take, by the way. Here's a fun little take. So, so people always say, people always say that casuals are the majority of this player base. Uh, which if that is true, that means that this system will not work because these casuals are gonna use bad builds. This thing only works if good players are the majority of the player base. Uh, because if they're not, then this build helps nobody. So for all those people saying that uh, casuals rule and there's no hardcore player. Well, then why do they implement a system that that gauges other players? Very interesting. That's just my opinion. Let's continue. Uh, enhanced current artifacts. Five-star artifacts enhancing the plus 20 is recommended. Okay. Well, that's just awful, right? Because 
All right. So you really don't need to do that. You you really don't. I mean, even plus 12 is kind of like fine. Because like you need a lot of experience to plus 20 a man. Like you need a lot of experience to plus 20 him. So, And if you plus 20 like a bad artifact, uh, it's just going to be weird. So I don't really think that you should do that. I guess you could just say slap five shit artifacts and plus 20 them and you'll never get anything better. I, I mean, sure, maybe, I guess. All right, anyways. And the character character towns have the character towns will be ranked by priority. Okay, cool. Once again. All right. Sure thing, man. Cool. That that's the change that'll save the game. Click on the small icons under the enhancement icon and read the corresponding en enchantment page, or show the location where you can obtain materials on the map. Pretty sure we already had that. I swear to God, we already had that. Did we not already have this? I swear to God, we already had this. We didn't have that. How did we not have that? We had it in HSR. I swear to God, I'm not being a dickhead for fun. Like I'm, I'm really not. I'm really not. Being a dickhead for fun. I'll, I'll be real, okay? Travers, upon the training guide with the Paimon menu, if you have any questions or suggestions while using it, feel free to give us your feedback via the various feedback channels available in and out of the game. That they'll never read. Feel free to give us feedback that we will never, ever, ever read. Great. Okay? Yeah, build suggestions. Very cool. Meanwhile, we'll also make some to frequently use character and hammers. Oh, great. Okay, sweet. So uh, it was about now if you're too stupid to build the characters yourself, we'll do it for you. Uh, let's see what the comments are saying. Are the devs treating players like babies, holding their hands like we can't figure out all this on our own? Just add custom artifact loadouts already and stop putting development time into these weird, unwanted systems. That is their top voted comment from their own community. And here's somebody already defending them or like you could just not use it. Completely missing the point that the developers are giving changes that nobody wants. That nobody wants, bro. Jesus. Good God, let's keep going. When will you give something useful to the players that have been here for three years? They won't. That is the second voted comment. Let's go again. People in the comments really shouldn't be game devs. This stuff is very, very useful for newbies or casuals who don't give a f about meta. Okay, so if they didn't give a f about meta, why would they be looking up what the meta was? So, in your own comment... You have disproven yourself. Let's just let the let the record be known, okay? In the span of your own one sentence comment, you disproved your own statement. Because if they didn't give a fuck about meta, why would they be excited about the patch that shows them what the meta is? Holy bro. This shit is insane. Great update indeed for players who don't know what Google is. Oh, uh, with the previous optimization and now this new training guide, it seems like Genshin is moving towards the direction of helping the casuals play the game better and not have excessive anxiety. That's great and all, but I do hope we get advanced features like artifact loadouts that cater more to the veteran players of the community. You won't. This does not feel necessary, even in the slightest. Even for new players. Intelligent guides made from player data help neither nor help neither new nor veteran players considering. Guides exist here and elsewhere. You need an active internet connection to play the game anyways, and therefore more in-depth investment guides for each progression level exist to help players. Player data isn't infallible. We may encounter investment recommendations that are far less optimal than shown. Some characters do not require investment past their second ascension, like Chi-Chi, and most characters' attack percent scaling do not require investment past 80 slash 90. Some characters, like Kazuha, do not require their talents to be leveled either. Instead, what every player currently needs is a better and healthier inventory management system, cough relics, improved dailies, increased resin caps for the insane 70 plus character roster hoyoverse your own community is telling you how shit your development radio is there is not a single non-hypocritical comment that likes your updates that you're doing for your game and congratulations hoyoverse you have once again and I say this all the time, you know what the biggest advertisement is for Wuthering Waves, the Genshin Impact development team. Boys, when Wuthering Waves comes out, I know we're we'll all be. But this update is just, at this point, it's tiring because there's no changes. They're not listening. Genuine question. Who the f cares? Because nothing is going to get better. But that's just my opinion. Feel free to let me know at twitch.tv forward slash techdown. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace, boys. Did you enjoy the Doom posting? I did. Man, this shit's bad. See y'all in 4.5, which will ultimately also suck balls.